So this is when I said earlier that we're going to start talking about different kinds of pasta. That's what we're going to get into. Um, different kinds of noodles. Ma falde and rigatoni and fusilli, ziti, penny, manicotti, manicot, and different kinds of hats and different kinds of furniture. Now, I will freely admit that uh, I don't use a lot of the pasta signs or pasta names in English, let alone in ASL. Uh, I do a little bit more of the hat, although I don't make reference to sombrero very often. It's not a very practical hat in the winter. Uh, berets, hmm. fez, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you're all over that. Fedora, I suppose if you like Tom Baker, there we go. Indiana Jones, you got the fedora. A Montera and a Chaco. I, like, I don't know much about hats. Um, and furniture, chaise lounge, a moi, sideboard, it, like couch and chair. Those are the big ones. So we're going to describe things. I mean, again, these are pretty esoteric things. Think about in your own life, things that may have, I'm trying to even think, are there interesting chairs in your house? You have a rocking chair versus an easy chair versus a lazy boy versus a sectional. Those will be more useful than a lot of these. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. So I'm supposed to hand out a noodles, hats, and furniture worksheet in class, and I don't ever do that. So um, sometimes I'll show this on the board. Ha! Ah, oh, this side. There we go. And there's each of the different kinds of pasta, although the one looks like turkey bacon, but um, different kinds of hats. And again, I don't know each of these different pieces of furniture, and to learn it just so I can teach ASL seems a waste of time. There are other things we can learn. So um, I want you to think about, God, that second piece of furniture is kind of gross. Maybe that's what they got at the armoire from, uh, from, um, from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> anyway, and of course, the first question is, what the hell is that? Like, uh, armoire, what is that? Um, oh, I know possibly Italian noodle. What's a mafalde? Sounds like an evil, sounds like a Spanish evildoer. Oh, the mafalde. Anyway, so we're supposed to go through and describe each of the different kinds of pasta. What I usually do is I go around the room and ask everyone what their favorite type of pasta is. Because everybody pretty much has a favorite type of pasta or they hate pasta whatsoever. So just ask people to like describe, is it bow tie? What is it like butterfly? What does it look like? Um, and again, we're just asking people, what's this? What's that? Pointing to things in there. And oh, look, there are the names. So blah, blah, blah. Um, I do have a colleague who brings in all different types of pasta boxes and shows them, brings them out and I'm like, I don't, I don't want people touching my food before I eat it, and I don't want to buy food and then have people touch it so I can't eat it and I leave it in my office. And that's just gross. Anyway. So then, to make things a lot more easy, there are a handful of videos to watch. As one person asks the other person about something. What is it? What is it called? This thing that's called this, what is it? Or comparing two different things. These are probably the clearest videos in, um, in the pink book in terms of speed. Some of the people are a little fast, but most of them are pretty good in terms of clarity. So just watch them and watch them a couple times if you need help or need to re repeat it to see what they're talking about. You know, these, the, froze, the, the images always look hard, right? Um, she's talking about needlepoint versus latch hooking. Do you remember latch hooking? Does anybody remember latch hooking when I was 10? We did a lot, lot chicken was all the rage making pillows. I think I still have one down in my basement. And somehow it survived. I don't know why. Anyway. So now we're talking about those instrument classifiers, how something works. Uh, this is this whole unit. I'm so glad I'm so glad that this is 
it looks like it's been pretty much dropped from the next the next incarnation as they're rewriting this books because these are fake words. Why have fake words? There's we don't need to invent fake words and in, think we can just use real stuff because then we can actually learn something. But so I'm skipping this. I don't want to know. Anyway, um, I would rather we could talk about tools, but not everybody knows tools. So maybe there are peripherals for a computer we could talk about. Really, when I'm teaching this lesson, I tend to move towards your Amazon wish list. What's your Amazon wish list? Or if since this usually is in right before Christmas, if you're buying things for your family, what's on their wish list? And describes to go, what the hell is that? I don't know what it is. Um, or if someone asks, you know, what's a this tool? Right, different kinds of hammers. What are the difference? And then have someone explain. Um, it's one of the good things I like. If we have time to go around the classroom, ask someone what their uh, to describe something that a lot of people are confused about of their hobby like someone does construction is describing the difference between a ball peen hammer and a claw hammer or Phillips screwdriver and a regular screwdriver. So then we get into, um, really we get into like foods, chopping onions, um, beating an egg, grating carrots, uh, things like that. And we've talked before about recipes in terms of process and steps. Now we're getting into a little bit more. Okay, you take an egg and you make, you beat it, and then you take flour and you add it in and then mix it. Right. So we're starting to add in those actions, those ICLs. Um, and actually, we already have this slide earlier, so I can delete those. So how it looks, we've described the DCL. How it works, ICLs. Now, how it's made. What do you do? What are the steps leading up to this final object? So again, all we're doing is we're putting a little sequence before. All stuff we've done up to this point. So take a look at the videos, and there's examples of each of these. And then we're about to move into 16.08. So that was 16.07.